Hello YouTube, this is Ken Apocalypse, and I want to start off uh, right now by uh, saying that I apologize for my, my, I guess my jutter in my camera. Um, my tripod um, is a not a tripod anymore; it only has two legs, so it, it's not doing much good. So I'm having to, to hold my camera while I do the video, <clears throat> which is okay, but uh, it's not going to be a long video. Um, I just wanted to discuss something. Um, you know, the Vizios, they were said to be coming out last month. And then the rumor was they'd be out by the middle to the end of this month. And now from what I read on uh, Review.com, um, they're not looking to release them till the middle or the end of May. I don't know if that's a Vizio thing or if that's how it was supposed to be all along. And I got misinformation, but... Um, we're looking for them to be out around June and I'm excited because, you know, you got the P and the M series going to be quantum dot, which is going to, you know, add to the, add to the, uh, color gamut greatly. And, um, you know, the, but the peak brightness is going to be the same 600 nits for the, uh, M series and a thousand nits for the P series. <clears throat> now, uh, now that I got that out of the way, um, Samsung. Now, is Samsung? I, I don't. I don't get what they're doing. Their Q60, which is supposed to replace the Q6FN from last year, which was a thousand nit TV. Uh, of course, it's just HDR10 plus and everything. Um, but it's a thousand nit TV, and it was built great. It had uh, metal legs. Um, it, it you know it was a bezel-less design. It was a really sharp TV, but um, of course no Dolby Vision. But here here's my complaint. This year they're bringing out the Q60, which is um, which is the um, replacement for the Q6FN. And the problem I have is is I'll put it up for you right here. Their peak brightness is not even over 400 nits, even on HDR. Now, anybody that owns an HDR 4K TV understands that to fully, you know, enjoy HDR, you have to have either A, very high contrast and about six to 700 nits, uh, a la OLED, or you have to have at least a 1,000 nit TV uh, to 1,500 nit TV to actually enjoy it. Uh, if you want, if you want HDR to really pop, you got to have between a 14 and 2000 nit TV, uh, which is, uh, like the Vizio, uh, P series quantum that came out in 2018, which this year will be the Vizio quantum X. So, I mean, it, what is Samsung thinking? I mean, I'll, I'll tell you what, what we're thinking and, uh, uh, me and a, um, someone that uh, watches my video, Scott, there's a shout out for you. Um, we discussed that maybe because Samsung is trying to push 8K that they're abandoning the 4K. Now, the Q6FN from last year was a great entry level TV to the uh, Quantum Dot series. But this year, the Q6 or the Q60 has horrible peak brightness horrible so are they doing this on purpose which samsung is known to be doing this are they doing this on purpose to kind of push people into the higher end tvs like the the q80 the q80 and the q90 and then the q900 um it, it's just it's beyond me but uh it, it's kind of disappointing and it seems to me like Samsung's up to its old tricks of, you know, trying to push new technology when the old technology is not even adapted yet. So, I mean, but that's my opinion. And that's what, you know, I'm going to do some research and try to figure out what, um, uh, what they're up to. But that's what it seems to me. I mean, last year the Q6FM was a great entry-level TV to the QLED series. This year, the Q60, which is, you know, basically the same thing. And the build quality. They went from metal legs to plastic. Come on. I mean, 
it sounds to me like they're giving up on their customer. They're giving up on their consumer base. Uh, that to me, I mean, that's leaving some people behind. These people ain't ready for, you know, a Q80 or Q90 or a Q900R, which is the 8K, um, 8K TV that they're bringing out. Uh, it just seems like they're push it, push, trying to push it on everybody before, you know, before it's even adaptable. I mean, Netflix don't even have 8K content. I mean, just recently in the past year, they've had, you know, 4K Dolby Vision content. And, I mean, that's great. I mean, Netflix is adapting to it. Um, Voodoo's adapted to it. YouTube's got their own thing. Um, uh, Amazon Prime is the only one that looks like they're on on par with uh, Samsung because, you know, they're, they're supporting HDR10+. But as 8K content, there's none out there. There is none. There's not an 8K player yet. Uh, they're all in production, but they're not out yet. It's just they're trying to push it on us before it needs to be pushed on us. And that that's kind of upsetting because um, Samsung's a great TV, but from what I'm seeing this year, I mean, <laughs> check yourselves. Uh, go on to our ratings. It's rtings.com. And look up the Q60, which they just did a review on it. It's horrible. I mean, I just don't understand. Why Why would you go from making a premium QLED TV? QLEDs are supposed to be top of the line. QLED, Q, Q6, Q7, Q8, Q9. But they're making the Q6 and even the Q70. The, they're plastic. They're, they don't even have metal legs anymore. Hell, even Vizio has metal legs, and they have metal legs this year. I mean, and what the bad thing is, the um, the price has not gone down. So, I mean, they're they're looking at higher price and less quality. And to me, that's kind of given up on the consumer base. Uh, these people that want to break into QLEDs uh, with Samsung, and they buy Q6, they're going to be sadly disappointed. So, but anyway, you know, that's my opinion. I'm sure everybody has theirs. I'd like to hear your comments. Um, so, you know, um, please leave them. I like to read them. I like to respond to them. But, uh, you know, this is Ken Pocalypse. Subscribe to my channel. Um, share my videos, and I'll have more for you next time.